just need that lower one to go. Hail Mary the top with a shock and a shock and a cluster and then a cluster. Spamming it, spamming it. Hi guys, it's Shishkabarber1 coming right back at you with another Boom Beach video. Okay, we are in Fourier. Yeah, I didn't really make a video yesterday because it was just a bunch of farming. And I've uh, been kind of struggling to stay in float in 16. Um, but it's really just for lack of ambition. Um, but we've been staying afloat in 16 and we've got all of our chests um, in gold. A uh, quick review of the tech tree, just to catch up from where we were last time. Shocks are rank 3, flares are rank 4, riflemen are maxed. We're looking at med kit still at rank 3. Um, we might consider upgrading those even more, uh, but still got to do budgeting, ladies and gentlemen. Um, moving right along, you can see our gunboat. We've got tick 3 on this one right here, and where's the other one? Tick 3 on this one right there, so we're at 60% GBE. Uh, rocking 50% DVD. We're at 50% troop health. We've just recently unlocked this second troop damage node, putting us at 100% troop damage. Um, it is time to farm chests to collect the next one. That's why we're shooting this video, my morning chest. Uh, we've let IT, that's instant training, expire. And I don't know. We're going to try to play without IT. I'll probably end up renewing it later, but uh, for now, we're going no IT. We're going to do the no IT lifestyle. Been doing that for the last day already. Um, it's different and uh, kind of sucks because sometimes you do want to attack more, but you can't. Oh well. Anyway, um, oh, as far as the attacks go, uh, it's really a hodgepodge. I don't know. Like, you really just got to read the base, figure out what to do. We have two options we have heavies and we have rifles, or a combination of the two. Um, a lot of times with these, I like to clear. Um, there are no stinking shock mines, though. He's only got 50 DBD. He does have boom cannons. Okay, so those do hurt a bit, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I'm going to go with two rifles. We're going to do a little bit of a delay. Uh, I need to go like this to get this started. Oh, what? Oh, we have cluster grenade. Well, that works, too. It's gonna go with battle orders, but honestly, I've been using a lot of cluster grenade on these bases as well. I forgot to check. Okay, I think we can do the delay drop. <laughs> we got some rifles going that way anyway. I'm um, looking for a good cluster grenade. Maybe when we get to the cannon. So I just want to get some mines out if she goes that way, but it might die before she clusters it. Oh, we got it. Okay, uh, shock up top, shock down low, cluster grenade on the boom cannon, cluster grenade on the boom cannon, okay, because those things hurt, and on the ER, now we just need that lower one to go, Hail Mary the top, with a shock, and a shock, and a cluster, and then a cluster, spamming it, spamming it! Uh, what did we get? 257, I think. That's okay-ish. I've just kind of changed my base up, too. Oh, yeah, that worked. So, let's take a look at what happened. Double time. I had everything compact, but I didn't like that, so I just recently moved uh, one of those ERs out to the left side. Because basically, if they took my compact down, I was losing on time every time, and... There were still enough people taking it down to where I feel like compact is not the right answer quite yet. It will be though, especially when I get uh, more DVD, I think, by the end of 4ER. Um, it, you know, it's just a tank heavy hit, blah, blah, blah. We know why it's slow. We're looking at it. Okay. Jumping right in. Hopefully we can get this chest before I run out of troops. Okay, I really do like the cluster grenade though. It works just fine. Um, we might do the exact same type of hit here. Um, yeah. I like mixing in a boat of rifles just for some extra DPS, but not too many because if they die, then, you know, we lose it all. Moving right along. Please go, oh, brick. 
supposed to go right. You're supposed to go right, Brick. This is awkward. Um, tempted to just smoke these troops to kind of keep them alive a bit. I don't even know if it's worth it. Yeah, I guess we'll smoke. I think we saved like three. Uh, Brick's out in front, so that is not good. Let's do a little back flare to get hurt behind some of these troops. Also save some of the other ones. Just shock up on this junk. Let's split the cluster. We can open one. Okay, shock over here. Shock the boom cannon up top. Cluster grenade. Let's get moving down low. With a cluster. And a cluster. Let's go. Don't get shocked, Brick. Yeah. It happens. It's not a good time. But, you know, we are just collecting, so there's that. She died, too, didn't she? Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. This makes collecting a little more tricky. Because we would have had it. <laughs> Oops. So, we Hail married a little too soon. Should have waited on that. Just being a little bit over-ambitious. And oh yeah, we would have beat this guy, no problem, had I just taken my time. Uh, well, you know, let my losses be your lessons. <laughs> my lessons too, honestly, but you don't have to pay the price of stars, just time. Your time being the time spent watching this. Oh my goodness, are we done yet? Okay. Hey, we still win. So, boom! Take it. But that was kind of lucky on our part. Okay. Unamas. Unamas. Let's go. Andale. Yeah, no Wendy's breakfast this morning. I got nothing to rave about. Just drinking my, uh, what is this? Some kind of a generic cola soda. Get my morning caffeine that way. No hot coffee this morning. Okay, 3 ER. Um, yeah, the tripod 50. Yeah, it's just been a hot minute since I hit one of these guys. Uh, we do have the troop damage, right? So, name of the game is just kind of battle orders your way up with all heavies, I believe. Can I even load all heavies? Yeah, barely. Uh, you know, let's just throw a boat of rifles in there just to kind of keep our heavy load light. And yeah, that's the basic idea. Drop it like it's hot. And let's go to the races. Once we're kind of off the boats. Okay. Let's go, people. So we're going to kind of clear around the neck. And we're just going to clear a lot of stuff, honestly. And we'll hail Mary when we feel like it. Yeah, we still got some rifles alive. Okay, we'll do a battle orders right here. Just chuck some of this junk that hurts a little bit. Another battle orders. Let's chuck junk in the back that hurts. More battle orders. Yeah, it looks like we're free clearing. Cycle that shotgun junk that hurts. And flare to the Hail Mary. Let's go, let's go. I think everybody hits the shocks anyway, but might as well. With a 259. Yeah, that's solid. It's that extra troop damage. It definitely helps. Definitely helps. Yeah, they're not going to win. So, uh, you know, I'm glad we went to 4. It, 4 does seem pretty solid compared to 3 ER. Um, I mean, I guess we can talk about the tech tree just a little bit here. There's not much else to do. I mean, I don't even know if I can... I don't think I can load another hit if I wanted to. Um, no, I can't. The non-IT lifestyle, ladies and gentlemen, it's real. Like I said, I might, I might get IT, I might not. We'll see. I don't know. Um, because we're you know we're about to approach the artillery meta, so hopefully troop losses aren't going to be as high. Um, yeah, we'll see. The point is though, why I came here, I wanted to talk about boom cannons. This is the one decision that mm, I don't know, still kind of haunts me a bit. Like um, you might have noticed, chicken hit 18 yesterday. Congratulations, chicken. 
I think that was in large part due to his decision to acquire boom cannons before going to 4ER. And, you know, obviously, I think you know why I didn't do that, because it's all about artillery, right? Well, at least that's what I was saying the other day. Um, well, I still think it is, but there's a slight change to that message. So, like, my friend ABR, Angry Bob Ross, he was going to be one of the first people to get to artillery. However, as that time approached, um, he had no offense. Like, he couldn't figure out a way that he was going to be able to clear two engine rooms and then have enough GBE to art two. In fact, he couldn't even figure out a way to clear three engine rooms and have enough GBE to art one. So that required some massive rethought on his point uh, for, for his pathing. And, well, he's decided to go 5ER and skip 4 altogether. My point is, is artillery is still strong, but it's only strong if you have the troops or the base to support using it. And so with that in mind, I'm wondering, should I have got the boom cannons? I don't know. We're still going straight forward to artillery, but Chicken's going to be a good indicator on this because he did get the boom cannons. He did rise up pretty high. And, I'm, you know, we'll see. Is artillery going to get me back up to that level to 18 and to 19? Well, I hope so. I sure think so. But if it doesn't, that was a key mistake in, um, you know, how I approach the tree this season. But time will tell. Um, artillery is still super strong, don't get me wrong, and we're certainly looking forward to it. We are about eight chests away, I think. I think we're off by like one stinking key, too. Um, but that's okay. Uh, so, you know, we'll get there. We'll get there in a couple of days, three days, maybe. <laughs> by this weekend, we'll have it. Um, yeah, and, you know, we'll just keep doing some videos in between now and then and sh explain the progress, talk about any new metas that emerge. Uh, speaking of new metas that emerge, uh, yeah, we've certainly seen strength of tanks there's a lot of players that just kind of took this bottom route they went warriors they skipped brick whatever they had no real offense once uh, bases started getting rough um and the tanks have been quite the salvation for them they are a very solid stable hit uh they will get the bases down but they just won't do it in the best times but if you're having trouble getting the bases down tanks might be your answer and also, you know, you got to realize what's right next to them is rocket launchers. Rocket launchers are going to be really good this season because there's a lot of DBD. So you're definitely going to want these rockets. I mean, heck, by the time we leave 4ER, we've already got 100 DBD. So those rockets will absolutely hurt. So this path is one you need to be thinking about anyway. So you might consider using tanks for offense in the meantime if you're having trouble, right? Um, it's, one of, it's one of the options, one of the things I see people doing. Um, medics, as we approach them now in 4ER, also turn out to be really good options. Uh, you can throw two boats of medics in with your rifles, um, and they'll really help keep them alive over the mines, flamethrowers, things like this. Um, too many mines, though, is a problem, and they'll just die. So you got to be mindful of how many mines your Johnsons can eat before they can get a heal. Um, other options. Well, of course, it's the Zooka, right? Like, we want to avoid this at all costs because that means we're going backwards, not forwards. But these ladies are the powerhouses of DPS, and they are certainly a viable option if you're having trouble. I've My base has been hit pretty hard with heavy Zooka, with rifle Zooka. Um, so, yeah, they're out there. They hurt. Uh, we're still looking forward because we want that artillery. Um, and as soon as we get artillery... I'll probably get boom cannons at that point because I just feel like I really missed something by not picking them up. I know the bases I hit that have boom cannons are much harder uh, because they really they really do some work to your heavies, you know? And that's, that's really what I'm relying on primarily more than anything is my heavies. So boom cannons, they're pretty bad against my heavies. So that's why I like them. But anyway, you know, that's... What else can I say? Well, there's Kavan, right? Kavan's going to be a huge, huge help to some people. I've already started to see him on a few hits. Um... So, you know, as you're in 4ER, and if, you, if you're kind of struggling for offense, especially, especially if you didn't pick up Brick, um, I would highly consider picking up Kavan in 4ER, too. Uh, you know, he, he's a really strong hero. He might be the hero for the whole season. Um, again, I think the end meta is going to be HCRC, but doesn't necessarily mean with Bullet, especially because he's on a dead end. I mean, technically, both Bullet and Kavan are dead ends, but... I think Kavan overall is going to provide more versatility through the entirety of the season. So, I, you know, I don't know what I'm going to do yet hero-wise, but I really am having my eye on Kavan uh, to pick him up this season. Plus, I played Bullet last season, so I'm kind of in the mood <coughs> excuse me, to play Kavan. Um, yeah, something like that. 
And uh, yeah, that's about all we can say. I'll just wrap it up right here. So I hope you guys have a super fantastic, awesome rest of your day. And remember, like always, be kind to others. Because if you're not, you're just being mean, and mean people suck. Have a great day. <laughs>